welcome back. This is Seth, and you are watching my YouTube videos at How I Think. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to add uh, a second processor on a DL180 G6 server. This is the secondary processor. This server already has one processor uh, installed. Here is the second slot for the second one. Here is the processor, and here is the um, the heat shield with the glue in the back. So we'll go ahead and put this on top of it then. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. I've already opened up the server, as you can see. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I took the processor out of its uh, plastic case. Now remember, guys, make sure you electrically discharge yourself. Um, you know, touch the ground or any metal surface to discharge any electricity because you don't want to mess this up. Now this does come with this little handy plastic utility or this tool that you all you do is you just put this on here, um, and squeeze the tabs on the side. Now the proper way of putting it on here is if you look at this plastic, um, there's this little uh, I can't really see it. I'm gonna use my finger. See this thing right here? It looks like a little crowbar. Well, that corresponds to this thing right here, this little handle. So that's how you're gonna put this in. So we'll go ahead and uh, put this in here. squeeze and let go as you can see the processor um, the processor is in its place okay we're gonna push down hard and put it into this little groove right here okay so the processor is secure now now we have that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, the heat sink. I'm going to remove this little um, uh, this plastic piece right here. We're going to remove it, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, put this down. There's glue there, so it will hold it in place. Okay, so I went ahead and. Uh, put the heat, heat shield on it um, it was a little tricky but what you have to also realize is uh, these cooling coils right here they have to face this way wherever this little hook was that we uh, used to secure the um, processor well this has to face this way so we'll go ahead and um, Use the screws to tighten this up. And once this is nicely tight and secure, we'll put the cover back on it and we'll boot it up to see if it recognizes the <coughs> processor, which it should. Okay, so it's nice and secure. Alright, we're going to put the cover back on it, we're going to boot it up and see if it recognizes it. There we go, two processors. 